Hello there everyone, this is the second devlog for Forgecape, a 2D top-down survival game that revolves around fighting enemies and bosses, mining minerals, crafting powerful gear, upgrading your forge and exploring biomes in a procedurally generated world. We didn't add too much stuff this month, but it was still a pretty productive one. We didn't add any new content such as enemies, bombs, atoms, etc. since the last devlog though because we were more focused on implementing some important systems and finishing up some tasks before we proceed any further. The first thing we did this month was reworking the UI which includes the inventory, main menu, pause screen, game, hard and more. The previous UI had a more steampunk-ish design which doesn't fit the theme of our game and that's without mentioning the fact that it was a free open game art asset, not original content. The new one is designed using minerals such as wood and paper which are more fitting. We have also changed how the main menu looks. Here is a preview of its current state. We have also disabled anti-aliasing for the camera. Now the game is pixel perfect and it looks much more crispier and honestly it's just an improvement that doesn't even need any explanation. Now, let's talk about the major changes. First of all, we have reworked the world generation due to snail paced loading times when generating a world. We have separated the object spawning into multiple frames. Now, only a fixed number of objects can be spawned per frame. This change optimizes not only the world generation but also fixes a lot of lag spikes that occur when spawning stuff which was a major complaint from our friends who have tested the game. Unfortunately, this change has broken biome generation, in fact they have stopped generating entirely. So the biome generation code has been entirely rebuilt and rewritten. As it was a good excuse to do that because we were planning on rebuilding it eventually. Now bombs will be generated before the objects, we are talking about main island objects, objects in biomes are generated only when you unlock the biome for performance reasons. We have also reworked the cave tiles and sprites so they look way less noisy right now and fit the game art style better. And now it's time to discuss the highlight of this devlog, saving and loading. This is a feature we have been worried about implementing for a long time but we knew that we will have to implement this at some point. There is a lot of stuff to save and it becomes complicated very quickly. The biggest issue was that we have to save all the minerals, decorations and towns in the world as there are around 1000 of these in total in each world. So we went with a not so obvious approach which is just a straight up saving and loading every object that we need to save and it turns out that this solution is actually not that bad and works efficiently. It might be unnecessary to do that but if you were to do it the other way around via applying the changes made to the world before saving such as mining a block, placing a workstation etc it wouldn't make much of a difference anyways so we would still need to save a lot of data. Apart from that, saving the other stuff is not a problem at all. Our saving system also saves stats, inventory, daytime and more. We are currently saving the game in JSON format but we may change it later on to make it less easier to modify save files. Other than that, we have fixed a lot of bugs we stumbled upon, burned some stuff and changed some sound effects. In the upcoming weeks we will probably start adding new content to the game as we already have some content in mind, but that we'll have to wait for next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching this devlog and we wish you all the best.